Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and I'm back with another Jurassic World figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Camp Cretaceous, Bumpy, and uh, Baryonyx Grimm. Technically, they're not new. There's the Snap Squad moods or attitudes or whatever they're called, but I was lucky enough to pick these guys up from a friend, and uh, now I'm, I guess I'm complete my Snap Squad lineup till the latest point. I also got the um, older lineup figures that I missed, the Baryonyx and um, Dilophosaurus from a great person on Instagram, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think is their username. I'll include it down below in the description. They are selling parts of their collection to raise money for environmental and animal conservation, which is absolutely amazing. So go check them out on Instagram. And I'm so lucky that they had these. I'm, yeah, basically complete. This is just fantastic. I was missing these two for the longest time, and I was super worried that I'd never see them. But they are absolutely just terrific, amazing, outstanding figures. The sculpt on the Baryonyx is fantastic. You can see the little notch in the jaw, all their teeth in there. So cute that they overlap like that. And the little eyes is basically just a chibi version of the first wave Baryonyx figure. And now I have both the ones, the Grim and this guy. Weird that they didn't do a limbo one but um, <laughs> that's that's a big rip so this figure is a lot different from the original um, this grim no wait is it grim yeah it's grim has a slit eye whereas the regular one just has a normal dot eye but I think that it, it's not creepy it's cute that they did that like it, it still looks adorable and I'm loving the red patch around the eye and the nice green color on the body looks very much like the grim figure um, and I'm loving this original one as well the Dilophosaurus is a brown color it actually has more detail on the frill than the original with um, this kind of yellowy splatter which is actually looks like um, the pattern of the Dilophosaurus frill that should be on a green one, but it's neat. They did a new color and an updated frill color, which again should have been on the green one, but that's fine. They did not paint the crests on the top of the head. Those are unpainted. The eye color is different. The bottom of the jaw is different color, and there's a cute little pattern on the back, which is different from this one as well. So it's got a lot of paint differences, which is pretty neat. And the teeth overlap as well. The little ones inside, that looks adorable. Now there's the non-shiny version of Bumpy. Now the I think the shiny version came first and then they released the matte version. Very cute. All the teeth in Bumpy are inside. They're very pointy. Kind of hurts to put it in there but um, yeah it's built like that because it's a herbivore. Loving the beak. Loving how wide Bumpy's head is. Like that is adorable. I said that twice. But that's okay because I mean it. He's so cute. Or she's so cute. These are all females. Um, Let's get the plastic uncut, or cut, there we go. Bumpy has a tiny little tail, a little wiggly one. Look how short that is, it ends in a little stub. Um, the paint just ends there, the, the rest of the nodes or bumps are not painted on the sides or the tail. Tail's not painted, that's kind of a rip. Um, and then you can see there's a lot of detail on the legs with the um, scaling. The scales on the head, thank goodness they are painted individually and they look fantastic because of that. Doesn't look cheap at all. I'm loving that they did that detail. The asymmetry on Bumpy's head is there. You can see the one short and one long spike. Cute that they added that detail and it really captures Bumpy I think as a whole and except for you know the, the very abnormally large mouth but that that's part of the figure lineup. Look at that. So cute. So let's get Grim out of the package and see how well she stands. And just like that, Grim is free. So Grim has a similar paint to the toes, except for hers are not, they're matte, and the original ones are shiny brown. These are kind of matte grayish blue. The hands are the same. Everything's practically the same on these two little Baryonyxes, um, except for the eyes. <laughs> the eyes are definitely different. And the pattern on the back is different. This one doesn't continue up to the neck. This one does, which I like this one more because of that. That doesn't look too good, but that's chill. Grim might have some trouble standing because this table's uneven. There we go. So there you have it. I'll do um, a complete collection review once I move into my new house. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing video. <laughs> They're so adorable. 
Hope you guys can find some of the new Snap Squad moods or, they're not moods, what are they? They're attitudes, yeah, in stores, whatnot. And I'm hoping I can find them. I saw them in a Walmart, so they might come up here to Canada Walmart. So keep an eye out for that, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.